What do you have there? A crystal making kit? You want to make some crystals? Let's open the box and see what's inside! There's a container And a spoon A large bag of white crystal compound Blue crystal seeding mixture Red crystal seeding mixture And white crystal seeding mixture Before we start, let's put on some safety goggles Alright Odie, let's get started! First, we are going to boil some water. We need 200 milliliters. Let's transfer the hot water into the container. Now let's open the white crystal compound bag and pour it into the hot water. Let's stir the mixture until all of the compound is dissolved. Odie, now let's pick a color. There's aqua blue, light blue, dark purple, deep red, light pink, and crystal clear! Which one are you going to choose, Odie? Dark purple! To make dark purple crystals, we need to sprinkle two spoonfuls of blue seedings. And two scoops of the red seeding. Oh no, Odie, we don't need to stir this solution. While we're waiting for the crystals to grow, let's find out how they form. Crystals are objects made up of tiny particles. These particles fit together in a repeating pattern. Because different crystals are made up of different particles, the repeating pattern of these particles form all sorts of unique shapes. Crystals often form when boiling hot liquids cool and harden over time. Crystals can also form when water evaporates from a mixture. The salt you use to flavor your food are tiny crystals that form when salt water is evaporated. Now that the crystals have finished growing, let's drain the liquid. And rinse it just a little bit. Odie, look at all these beautiful purple crystals. 